Hi and welcome to C Programming. In today's lesson we're going to do an example and the example is how to draw a rectangle that's defined by the user. So let's jump in it, into it. Let's say for instance we need to draw a rectangle that is user defined meaning that the user is going to dis determine the width and is also going to determine the height of this rectangle and we need to draw the rectangle by using hash characters. So how would we do this? So before we start, let's analyze this problem. So the user is going to define the width and the height. So how will we draw this rectangle? So let's think for a moment. The width is defined here and the Height is the rows. So width is the columns and the rows are the height. So one loop structure will be responsible to draw the width or the, the width or the row itself. And then one looping structure will be responsible to jump to each line. So one looping structure will print out this then this, then this, and one looping structure will create a jump to the next row. Okay, so let's jump into the coding and start doing this and you will maybe see how we can use two looping structures to actually go and draw this shape that is user defined. So I'm going to assume that we're going to use four loop structures. Okay. So first of all, before we can start actual logic, we need to include our standard input and output library. We need to create a main function. So our main function has the following. We need to save this. It's always, always a good idea to build and make sure that the program is actually compiling. Okay. So I've built and run and I've made sure that everything works. Okay, now we can continue. So how will we program this? So first of all, let's just do the basic input and output to the user first. The first three lines. So first of all, we're going to have a printf statement. Printf statement draw let's uh, draw rectangle new line new line okay and then we're going to ask the user for a width oops just need to put it in double inverted commas okay so we're going to ask the user for a width and we're also going to ask the user for an height Okay, so we are asking the user for a width. Now we need to use the scan if statement to retrieve that input from the command prompt into our program. And how would we do this? By using scan if percentage d that stands for decimal ampersand. Don't forget your ampersand. And then we need to, a variable to store it into. So we are going to create a variable say width and we're also going to create a variable called height okay so continuing we create our scanf statement we use width and then the user input is going to be stored inside width and then we're also going to have another scan if to capture the height input from the command prompt Just a handy trick, trick in um, code blocks, if you double click on width, it will highlight the variable it's corresponding to. Thus, we can quickly double check that our spelling and everything is correct. So we can save, we can build and run. And now we can see inside our command prompt, 
that there is a width we can enter a width and we can enter a height and it's not going to be anything else so let's continue so we have the user input and it's stored inside a width and a height variable so we need counter controlled repetition to actually go and print out this shape by using a hash character but how would we do this so let's assume the idea that we need to looping structure now think for a moment the first looping structure is going to print out let's say for instance if the user input four for the width there needs to be four hash characters printed out so how would we do this we're gonna use a for loop and for counter control repetition we need to have a counter variable I'm gonna create two we're gonna use another the other one but later so first counter variable is going to start at zero I is smaller than the width I plus plus so we're going to use a printf statement to go and print out hashtags sorry hashtags so we save and we build and run so let's quickly see what happens so draw re rectangle we're going to press 4 we can press 8 and you can see there's four hashtags being printed out okay so we know that our width is working now we need to work on our height what do we need to do with that we need to repeat this four hashtags in a row eight times to actually get to the correct shape so how would we do this and quite easy we need to repeat this two lines we need to repeat this for loop eight times in the example that I just showed you so how can we do this I'm going to use a for loop again and this is going to be our outside for loop j is equal to zero j is smaller than the height yes j plus plus Okay, I'm going to have open and close curly brackets. Okay, so let's save and see what happens. So our height is going to repeat the width statement or the width for loop, the exact amount of times that we need it to repeat. So let's see. We build and run. We press 4 for the width, 8 for the height, and oh shucks. So it repeated the width, what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Okay, so 8 times. And this is not quite what we need. So there needs to be a new line after each width was repeated so all we do is we're going to use printf statement again and we're going to say new line okay now we can build and run and see what happens so you're going to say print the width or the width of four the height of eight and there we have it one two three four five six seven eight and with a width of four and that's our rectangle shape being drawn with user defined width and height we can run this again and we can make a different shape and we can say six width and height three and it's going to draw a six width height three rectangle for us and there we have it this is how we can use a for loop inside a for loop to draw a rectangle shape that is user defined meaning user 
a user def def defined the width and the height of this rectangle. So let's quickly just recap. We have a width and a height variable. We have two counter variables. We ask the user for a width and a height. And we use a for loop inside a for loop. One for the height, one for the width to draw this rectangle shape. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon.